From leading the women's money list as a teenager to becoming the youngest world number one in both female and male golf, Lydia Ko is one of the finest talents the game has ever seen. In 2014, Time magazine named her among the 100 most influential people in the world. The following year, Lydia was named in the ESPNW Impact 25 list of 25 influencers and athletes who have made the most impact on women in sports. However, despite all her exploits at a very young age, you'd be shocked to realize that Co lives a simple lifestyle, probably simpler than any athlete you know. We're sure you'll want to know more, so stick around till the end of the video. April 24th, 1997, saw the birth of Lydia Ko in Seoul, South Korea, to her dad, Ko Gil Hong, and mom, Heon Bong Suk. Lydia has an elder sister, Sura Ko, and the family lived in South Korea before migrating to New Zealand when Ko was just four. At the time, there weren't too many Koreans playing golf, which begs the question, how did she develop a passion for the game at an early age? You see, a year before the family relocated to Sydney, they went on a trip to the city to see Lydia's aunt, In Suk Hyun, who played golf for fun. In Suk took a hard look at Lydia and somehow predicted that she would make a fantastic golfer. So she gifted her two golf clubs, a seven iron and a putter. Lydia obviously didn't know how to play golf and she pretty much messed around with it for some time. At one point, her mom and others noticed she had a natural talent especially for a child of her age. They soon realized that her unique ability to hit golf balls was not that of an average six-year-old. It was like one of the more storied moments in the country's golf folklore. Ko and her mom Tina walked into the pro shop at the Papuki Golf Club on Auckland's North Shore and met the owner, professional Guy Wilson, who was her coach until December 22, 2013. I've known Lydia since the very moment she walked in the door at Papuki, recalls Michael Hendry of the 2003 encounter. That was my club as a junior and I was on the putting green at Papuki that day. Henry recalls it well because at the time, Guy was living with him and his wife Tara. Wilson was one of the groomsmen at my wedding and he flatted with me and my wife for some years. Co was like a little sister to me and Guy and I'm really proud of what she's achieved. Henry also said it was easy to spot Lydia's talent even when she was too little to see over the counter in the Papuki Pro Shop. Even as a 10 year old, Co was an inspiration. It was visible how good she was going to turn out from an extremely young age and she was a very hard worker, he concluded. However, New Zealand wasn't the first place Co's family initially wanted to relocate. They first planned to migrate to Canada and later Australia, but life probably had its own plans. It'll also interest you to know that young Ko was only seven years old when she broke out to the media in March 2005, having competed in the New Zealand National Amateur Championships. And it was apparent that her future in golf was certain from way back. Still, her parents ensured she had a proper educational background, attending Myranji Bay Primary and Pinehurst School in Albany, New Zealand. While at Pinehurst, Ko joined the professional golf tour and took correspondence classes in school while honing her golf skills. Despite her stardom from a young age, she has always been humble. Even her classmates from Pinehurst often speak of her behaving like an average student while in school. Of course, there was the issue of signing autographs, taking pictures with fans, and missing school because of tournaments she had to participate in. But Lydia remained focused and gained qualifications for university entrance a full year before graduation. Yep, Lydia Ko still attended university despite becoming a pro in 2014, enrolling at the Korea University in Seoul in 2015 to study psychology extramurally. However, being a celebrity and a successful athlete comes with many responsibilities, such as failing to meet up with classes, projects and other curricular activities. Still, Ko seemed to have it all planned out. When asked how she planned to run the program, she said, I'll have to wait and see what the university has to say before making a decision on how to proceed with my studies. Because most of my classes will be done online, I'll have to make sure I submit all of the needed papers and projects. Such insight from someone who was just 18 at the time. But how talented a golfer was Lydia back then? You're about to find out. When Lydia won the Bing Lee Samsung Women's New South Wales Open on the ALPG Tour in January 2012 at age 14, she became the youngest winner of a professional golf tournament. She would later break several records before entirely going pro in 2014, including being the youngest ever winner of an LPGA Tour event by winning the CN Canadian Women's Open at 15 years and four months old. She won with a 13 under 275 score and even surpassed Lexi Thompson's September 2011 record at 16 years and seven months. And that's not all. The victory also made her the fifth amateur to win an LPGA Tour tournament and the first one in more than 43 
three years. As an amateur, Lydia Ko also won the 2011 Australian Women's Amateur Stroke Play Championship, the New Zealand Women's Amateur Stroke Play Championship, the New Zealand Women's Amateur Match Play Championship, the 2012 Australian Women's Amateur, and the US Women's Amateur. Lydia finished runner-up to Susan Pedersen in the Evian Championship in France and announced that she would turn pro in 2014. But surprisingly, in October 2013, on a YouTube video with New Zealand rugby player Israel Dagg, she stated that she was turning pro immediately and would feature in her maiden pro tournament in Florida in mid-November. And here's the shocking part. According to most professional golf rules, you have to be 18 to join a professional association. But Ko was just 17 at the time and still found her way in. Well, she was more than a generational talent, and even Mike Wan, LPGA Tour Commissioner, confirmed this when he said it's not every day that the LPGA gets to welcome a rookie who has already won back-to-back -back LPGA Tour titles. She had already been the world's top-ranked women's amateur golfer for 130 weeks when she announced her professional debut and she wasn't slowing down anytime soon. From her rookie year, Ko was already outstanding, winning three tournaments including the Marathon Classic, the CME Group Tour Championship, and the Swinging Skirts LPGA Classic Tournament, during which she celebrated her 17th birthday. It's no surprise that she was named LPGA Rookie of the Year, commemorating the honor with a tattoo of the date in Roman numerals on her right wrist. Since then, she has garnered an astounding 25 professional wins on the LPGA Tour, including 19 LPGA Tour wins, six ladies European Tour wins, five on the ALPGA Tour, and one on the LPGA of Korea Tour. She's also excelled in major championships, winning the 2016 Chevron Championship and the 2015 ABN Championship, among many other top finishes. Lydia Ko also holds several records, including being the youngest player of either gender ever to be ranked number one in professional golf by both the official World Golf Ranking and the Rolex World Golf Ranking at the age of 17 years, 9 months, and 9 days. The youngest of either gender MVP player of the year ever across all four major sports in the NBA, Major League Baseball, NFL, and PGA LPGA. Although Lydia has kept her private life under the radar for most of her career, it's no news that she's married to Jun Chung, the youngest son of Hyundai Cars Vice Chairman Chun Tae Chung. That's right, she's married to the stunning heir of some Hyundai generational wealth. Jun Chung works at the Hyundai Motor Group subsidiary office in San Francisco and is a degree holder from Claremont McKenna College in California with a bachelor's degree in philosophy and data science. The duo wedded last year in December in Seoul's massive Myeongdong Cathedral. The couple got engaged in August after dating for two years. The celebration wraps up what was a remarkable year for the New Zealander. Last year, she won on the LPGA Tour three times, making it her first multi-win season since six years ago. Her last of those wins, the CME, earned her $2 million, the biggest winner's check in the history of women's golf. At the end of the tournament, Lydia had many other trophies to pose with. She won the Vair Trophy for Best Scoring Average and was Player of the Year. Her success pushed her back to the number one world ranking, and it's the first time Ko has been number one in the world since 2017. Sure enough, all this success comes with a lot of cash, and by a lot, we mean record-breaking money. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Ko has an estimated net worth of $25 million. This shouldn't come as a surprise, because aside from a resounding career earnings of $16,695,357, Ko has endorsement deals with Avion, Lexus, GMAD officials, Echo, Rolex, Lululemon, and probably her most lucrative deal, a $14.5 million deal with PXG. Co has also supported organizations like Ronald McDonald House Charities, the First Tee of St. Petersburg, and Els for Autism Foundation. Having recorded such mind-blowing achievements at a young age, it's safe to say that Co has a bright future ahead of her, and we should still expect more record-breaking achievements. But what do you make of Ko's achievements? And we'll catch you in the next one.